I'm at the point now where I'm ready to try just about anything to clear up my face because it hurts. Elise Myers made a TikTok saying that washing her face with head and shoulders is the secret to healing her acne, so I'm going to try that next. I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, completely unrelated to what I just said, today's video is going to be a full face of makeup that my boyfriend picked out for me. I am very nervous. He already picked out the product, so I'm going to insert the footage here. Actually, I lied. I'm going to finish my intro and then insert the footage i'm a little bit scared not gonna lie we'll see how this combination of products goes there's a few products that i've never used before some that i haven't used in a really long time and just not a combination of products i would have picked myself so we'll see i'm gonna do my best and then we'll do a reveal for my boyfriend at the end if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started all right guys we're at my makeup collection now we have the lucky basket right here jarvis is going to select my full face of makeup for me today so let's see how he does this is a lucky basket? Yeah, it's lucky. Why? Because it it's just is. Oh, okay. It yeah. looks like it. <laughs> okay, All so right. uh, you're starting off with primer. Just to let you know, I have two primer drawers. High oh. end and then drugstore is the one underneath if you want to take a peek at all of your options. Well, I think since it's the base, we definitely need to go high end. Cause, okay. You know, if the paint's not good on the car, then how's <laughs> anything else going to look good? So. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so with that logic, um, let's see what kind of high-end stuff. Oh, we that's pleasing. Here. That's Harry Styles brand. I haven't used that one before. Interesting. What makes it high-end? Is it just expensive? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I might just be overpriced for the name. <laughs> Don't see. tell Kristen Ooh. that. That's Ariana Grande's. That's an under-eye primer type thing. All right, so. <laughs> You're going for all the celebrity brands. <laughs> Oh, is that what this is? Well, no, not 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 intentionally. Okay, well, let's see. I think we'll go with the Laura Mercier one then. Illuminating or hydrating? But how are you going to illuminate if you're not hydrated? Okay. This is my selection. Okay, hydrated. All right. Yep. Boom. <laughs> you're doing great. So what's the next step in makeup? The next step is definitely going to be the... Foundation. Yes. Okay, so I have foundations oh. in right. here, but I also have a few right here. So okay. um, those are kind of like your options here. All right. Thinking down here. Let's see. Catrice. Um, whoa, Giorgio Armani makes a foundation? <laughs> yeah. Would you prefer a liquid or a powder? Well, we're going to use both. Both? Yeah. Why? Because you set the liquid with the powder. You know this. Yeah. I, yeah but it's I not a powder that. foundation. All right, well, we'll okay. go with Giorgio Armani oh, off of absolutely nothing. Luminous Silk. Yeah, huh. all right. I thought they only made, like, He, he like, likes it bougie. And, uh, and belts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, next up, we have concealer. So you can pick out a concealer for me. These are my... Con that's not concealer. Okay. Yeah, just, just these right here. That's not concealer either. Just these two. Oh, <laughs> right, this one and this one. Okay, let's go. Derma blend. I haven't heard of that one. You have or haven't? I have not. Infallible full wear. Let's try a drugstore brand. All right, Sounds all right. Good. We'll mix it up a little bit. All right, nice. Mm. Next up we have Ooh. powder. All right. All right, this is important. This is gonna make or break the look. This one definitely seems like it's good, <laughs> based on how much it's used. Uh, I know this is Fenty. Yes. Um, let's check this one out. Oh man, how do you grab anything in here? You have to like take out the back one. Two faced. Two faced. Born this way. Yeah. Let's give that a go. Okay. I know you used to use this back in the day, right? Um, sure. Alright. Yeah, cool. I used to use it a lot. Too Faced is popular. Yeah, okay. Cool. So next up, what do we have after powder? After powder? Mm-hmm. Mm, let's do like eyebrows. Okay, that that's fine too. Does that, does that work? That, that Yeah, that works. Alright, All right. so we're going to go all the way down here to my eyebrow drawer. 
cool. So we, uh, we I need a pencil and a gel or a pomade and a gel, uh, whatever you're feeling. So, so wet and dry. Well, or pomades are wet, so wet and wet, but that's fine too. <laughs> gel and pomade or gel and powder? Or... <laughs> pencil and a gel. There's more gels here. All right. Or a pomade, which is like kind of like a cream-based product, and a gel. I used to use pomade in middle school. <laughs> Probably a different type of pomade, but <laughs> you still use pomade. No, I don't. In your hair? That's pomade. That the okay, pasty well, stuff. <laughs> we'll use pomade then. So that's what okay. I do. That one's Anastasia. Anastasia. It's yeah. the dip brow. Dark brown. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then a gel. We've got gels here, and then a few over here. Ooh, yeah, let's do this one. Kosas. What is this? Kosas. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. All right. Adding it to the lucky basket. Okay, and then what comes next? Let's start working on blush. Um, okay. Yes? Sure. We'll do bronzer first. Eyes? No, bronzer. we'll do bronzer eyes. first. I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is my bronzer drawer. Alright. Okay, go for it. We got cream and powder. You just need to pick one. Okay. Oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, I haven't used that one before. That's Flower Beauty. That's Drew Barrymore's brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, we love We're Drew going Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Oh, boy. Okay. This looks interesting. Yeah, it's like a gel it's bronzing like all, essence. All funky looking. <laughs> That's just it's like a the the texture of the product. It's like a thicker product. So you're this looks pretty dark. Well, it blends out, I hope. I don't know, I've never used it. Okay, it just looks like super like orange. Well, it's bronze. All right. Bronzer. We're going with that. Okay. Next up we have blush. So again, I have two blush drawers. I have a high-end blush drawer, and then I have a drugstore slash more affordable blush drawer, so. All right, let's go affordable on the okay, blush. Okay, all right. We have lots of creams. Uh, pixie. Some other random powders. What is this? That's Kaleidos. I don't know if that's drugstore. I just have that in here because it doesn't really fit in my other one. I feel like some lace panties. Oh my god, you can't see that! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this, like a deodorant version? Yeah, it's a deodorant blush. Okay. Let's, um... You can hear Poncho chowing down on his, on his toy. toy. Alright, we'll go with the... Oh. We'll go with that one. It has a lot of shimmer in it, so... Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting look. Yeah, I'm very interested. Okay, next up we'll do highlighter. So again, two highlighter drawers. Okay. My Ofra, Ofra. highlighters. And then I have other highlighter brands, so... Right. It's up to you on that one as well. Let's do Ofra. Okay. Show Ofra some love. Yeah. Use code page. Thingamajig of it. I know. So you should just blindly pick one, and I have to use that one. Okay. We're gonna go. Shoot. Okay. This one. Let's see what color it is. Peppermint. Okay. I think it's like a light pink color. Can yeah, you open it, it for yeah. me? Let's see. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice. Cool. Good choice. Thank you. All right. All right. Here's our lucky basket so far. Now, do you wanna? Pick your lip color first or your eyeshadow palette first? I think we gotta do eyeshadow. First. All right, all right. So w we have a whole unit for eyeshadow palettes. So um, first, you feeling color pop? I think I just have to pick one at random and then go through there. Okay, pick a drawer at random Which and Which one, then... like these last two? Um, no, just this unit, um, just not the bottom one. Okay. But any of the other ones. Oh boy, this is a Completely oh, random yeah. miscellaneous That's drawer. Oh, this looks Lisa, Lisa Frank. Frank. Is that like a a coloring book thing? They had like school supplies when we were young. This looks very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> this is a completely wow. unorganized miscellaneous drawer. So. Whoa. Do you want to go with like a certain theme? Or? That's all you. You gotta pick for me. Man. Jarvis isn't good with options. No. I go to like the shoe store, the one time every three years I buy shoes and sit there for like a couple hours trying to figure out what I want to get. Whoa. It's like <laughs> New Year's. <laughs> I like that you have like specific holidays and events in mind. Mm, a little too, little too flowery. Too flowery. Whoa. Smoking roses. Yeah, oh, that's the one. That's the one. I am so happy you picked this one. 
<laughs> all right. Perfect. I feel like this one would be cool too. Don matte. Yeah, it's an it's all like matte, matte palette. Version. Mm hmm. Sweet. There you go. All right, so now we need lips and mascara and setting spray. So let's go ahead and do setting spray, get that out of the way. All right. Here's the setting spray. Drive drastically uh, downsized. Are there actually any differences between there any are. of these? Yeah, there uh, are. The, <laughs> are you questioning uh, my feel, setting spray collection right I'm now? I'm questioning setting spray in general. Oh, wow. It is kind of actually a controversial topic. Mm. Lila Who's B. Lila B? That's um, an expensive makeup brand. All right, let's... <laughs> Whoa! I'm not allowed to do two pixie things. Right? No, you can do two pixie things. It's up to you. <laughs> You're not allowed. Game? Have you used this? One no, all? I haven't used that one yet. That's from the Elf video game collection. All right, let's try that out. All right, nice, good choice, good choice. For lips, um, we have several options. Are you thinking lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick? <laughs> Am I thinking? What are you, what are you <laughs> feeling? nothing going on up here. <laughs> make, a, make a choice. Do you want bold what lips? What are my options? Lipstick, lip gloss, or liquid lipstick? Mm, let's do lip gloss. Lip gloss. All right. So, we have this drawer full of lip glosses. Okay. So... You make your Oof. choice. Keep in mind, keep in mind, this is the color palette that we are working with. Okay. Cool toned, kind of pinky, Fair pinky enough. colors. So he doesn't like that one. Okay. It's a little too dark. Whoa, what is this? That's a like a lip balm. It's just sheer. It doesn't actually have color. That's also just like a lip mask. All right. <laughs> is this also just a... <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I a lot of lip glosses are sheer though, so it's not like a problem if it's sheer, just... Okay, let's let's take a look at this. Okay, uh, that one's not sheer. Yeah, it's a little too dark, I think. Okay. That's a good one, but I want to try something different than... Laura. There it is. Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta. Alright. That's a really cool logo. Yeah, isn't it? That's nice. Yeah. Okay, Patrick Ta, what's the shade? It is. It's gonna be probably on the bottom. I got you. Um, she's an influencer. Wow. Wow, <laughs> what a name. All right, and then finally we have mascara. Okay. All right, here are the mascara options. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this teal one over here. Okay. Sounds yeah, good. Not, not that one. No, this one? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. You like that one? Yeah. Okay, it's CoverGirl Lash Blast. Yep. So I have my lucky basket of makeup right here. I got a little bit of sun when I was in Augusta, Georgia. My mom and my brother did the Iron Man 70.3, and we were spectators, we being my boyfriend, my dad, my brother's girlfriend, and me. And we were outside for a really long time, so I got a little bit sunburnt, but it's doing okay now. But that's the additional redness that you're seeing. Also, my skin is just, it's hurting. It's not doing good. Um, hence the head and shoulders that I'm going to try. So next time I go to the store or my boyfriend goes to the store, he knows to be on the lookout for the regular head and shoulder shampoo. I wouldn't be, or I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it sold out because Elise Myers has some pretty hardcore influence on the world. So anyway, let's dive in. So for primer, he actually picked a primer that I use all of the time. He picked all of these products from my main makeup collection. He didn't pick anything out from my everyday makeup drawer, aside from the mascara because I just wanted him to pick an open mascara so I didn't have to add another one to my pile of open mascaras. So anyway, we have the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer Hydrating. I love this primer. We're starting off strong. I was very happy that he decided to pick this one. This is sort of like a gel-based moisturizer. That's what it feels like to me, which is why I like this so much because I do have oily, acne-prone skin, but I love hydrating face primers because I feel like they just make my rest of my makeup look better than if I were to use something else. So I like that this is gel based and it's not super oily. It's very lightweight while still being hydrating. For foundation, we are going in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is an expensive foundation. I bought this a while ago. I don't know if the shade is gonna work for me. I hope it does. We're gonna, we're gonna hope that this works. It's in the shade 4.5. 
So I'm going to find a sponge and then we'll go from there. That, that would be a good thing to start with, right? I'm gonna start by stamping this. Ooh, okay. It might be a little bit dark, but I think the color will definitely work. Let's see if I can get some coverage on these breakouts down here because they are, like that's all that I can look at <laughs> in the mirror is this part of my face. So I, oh wow, the color is actually, it's actually pretty perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna blend this out and I'll be right back. I zoomed you guys in a little bit so that you could see my skin better. This is definitely not a full coverage foundation. I would say it's more medium, like, I don't know. I don't wanna call it light, but I feel like it's like light to medium coverage. So I still have a lot of redness and like this pink from my sun exposure is definitely still showing through, but my skin looks a lot better already. Um, I don't really have any complaints considering it's not marketed as a full coverage concealer, uh, foundation rather. So now we're going to go in with concealer and we have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I love this concealer. I used to use it all the time. I have not used it in a while. It looks <laughs> very light compared to the foundation that I have on. So we're probably going to have to do quite a bit of blending. I need to add some over here. Hopefully this doesn't end up looking too weird, but it's definitely very bright. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> we were doing we were doing good until the concealer. It's like so dry. I'm going to spray this. Oh, I have to use the setting spray that Jarvis picked out. So we're going to use the Elf Game Up Shield Me Setting Mist and I'm going to spray the crap out of my sponge and see if we can rehydrate my under eye area but my skin is really dry right in here from getting a little bit sunburned and <laughs> it's very evident i don't know if you can tell in the camera but in person this is horrendous oh my gosh i added setting spray and it made it even worse i'm just gonna see you guys in because this is this is tragic right here um i think jarvis set us up for failure i think he sabotaged this whole thing he wanted me to fail because i don't know how else this could have happened it was going great until we got to the under eye area which confuses me because that means it wasn't like just the concealer like i think it's just my dry skin <laughs> so um i think i'm gonna add we're gonna do a little fun concoction here. I'm gonna add more foundation to my cheeks and under eye and see if we can repair the situation. I don't think this is fixable. This hasn't happened to me in a long time. So I think that I kind of fixed it. I didn't fix it, but it, it looks a little bit better than it did. I just basically blended a lot and added more of this. My nose is a whole issue. It's very, we're just going to ignore that and we're going to move on. Um, next, I'm going to set my face with my Too Faced Born This Way powder. This, there's no way this does me wrong. There's absolutely no way. I will say that um, I can see all kinds of dry skin. I haven't worn makeup since I got sunburned and my skin is just like, dry and flaky and peely all around my forehead and nose and cheeks so i don't think that it's fair for me to fault the products when my skin is in the condition that it is because of something that i did and it's not normally like this so my camera battery is about to die i'm gonna set my face with this and we'll be right back so things are looking a little bit better i powdered we're still not looking great i have definitely looked better i can still see my dry skin but at least we've kind of fixed whatever we had going on there. So <sighs> next we have bronzer. And of course, Jarvis picked a liquid bronzer that I have never used before. This is from Flower Beauty. This is the Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. And I didn't think to put this on before powdering my face. So we're gonna find out really fast if this works well on top of powder. It's an interesting texture. It's like a thick, thick texture. I have no idea how pigmented this is or anything, so I'm just gonna kind of blend this out and then tap it on. 
and I'm not looking at the mirror yet. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I think we're okay. We'll see. We'll see if we're okay. I'm gonna take my time working on this, so I'm gonna fast forward this part. We're not okay. Definitely not okay. Boo. Did I scare you? <laughs> um, okay, so I zoomed you in again so that you can hopefully see what's happening here. Um, all of my foundation is gone right, right up in here. I feel like looking in the viewfinder, it doesn't look that bad, but <laughs> it, trust me, in person, this is... This is not going well. Let's try this side. So I'm just gonna tap this. Tap, tap, tap. Do I keep going or do I stop? That's the question that I am contemplating right now because at this point, is there any saving this? Is there? I think my only option here is to put some powder bronzer on top of this and just hope hope that we can keep going. I don't think that helped at all, but we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna grin and bear it. So for blush, we are going in with this Pixie Glowy Powder in the shade Rose Dew. This is another product that I have never used before, so we're gonna swatch it. Um, it's pretty, it's actually really pretty. So let's see how this looks. I feel like just like with my luck, it's not, not gonna look cute, but let's see how it looks on my cheeks. Very chunky glitter, but honestly at this point I'm not even gonna complain about that because that's probably the best part of this entire makeup look. It's basically pink glitter. I don't even know if this is blush. Like this is probably like a pink duochrome highlighter that I just put all over my face like blush, so that's fun. Let's do brows because <laughs> we can't mess that up, right? I'm coming through my brows with my E28 from Blinged Brushes. Then we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I'm just going to touch up the arches of my brows because that's where I tend to have the most asymmetry. So <laughs> um, pretty simple with that. And then we'll use the Kosas Clear Brow Gel again. I love this product and I was using it like every single day for a really long time, but then I think I took it out of my everyday makeup drawer and it just kind of got out of my rotation, but I love the Kosas Clear Brow Gel, <laughs> Clear Brow Gel along with the uh, uh, brow pencil. For highlighter, we have the Ofra highlighter in the shade Peppermint. I don't know if I've used this one on my face. I don't recall, so. Um, the color is absolutely beautiful. It's a super light pink. Oh my gosh. Ofra's highlighters are insane. You guys can use code PAGE for 20% off. <laughs> um, but it's like a super light pink color. It looks a little bit crazy with my already sparkly pink cheeks, but that's fine. You know, like we love highlighter. The, the, the highlighter and the brows are so far the best part of this look. We're gonna go ahead and do the lips. This is the Patrick Ta Lip Gloss in the shade She's an Influencer. Super pretty color. I love how sparkly it is. It doesn't have much of a base to it, but the sparkle is so cute. I love, there's like different sizes of sparkle in here and there's like pink and blue and gold. So I love the lip gloss, 10 out of 10. For eyes, we're going in with the Smoke and Roses palette from ColourPop. I'm so excited. I bought this forever ago and I have not used it yet. So I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. This is the E24 from Bling Brushes. And I'm gonna go in with the shade, hmm. I think we'll do um, Alone, which is this like pink right here, this matte pink color. And I'm gonna put that through my crease. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow color. It is so pretty. Next, I'm gonna go in with this matte shade right here. It's called 
look at me and I'm gonna use that same brush and just tap that in my outer corner just like that then I'm just kind of blending through my crease with a combination of the outer corner and crease shade for the lid I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is called wild side it looks so pretty so I'm just gonna use my finger to apply that to my lid it's so sparkly and pretty and it goes with the other shades that i used so well i'm gonna go back into my highlighter in the shade peppermint and i'm going to apply that to my brow bone as well as my inner corner i'm trying so hard to like take myself seriously right now but <laughs> and finally we have this mascara this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast Clean Mascara. It has a silicone, like, stiff rubber wand, and it's pretty thick. I feel like since the mascara wand is so thick, it's almost hard to work with. Like, it's hard to get close to your eye, but it made my lashes look really good. So, uh, the last thing we have is setting spray, which I'm definitely taking this makeup off right um, as soon as I finish filming because I actually have other videos that I need to film, and I can't. I can't be looking like this. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, look at that spray. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face with the, what is this called? Game Up Setting Spray? Yes, Game Up Shield Me Setting Mist. I'm gonna let that dry and then we will do the final reveal to my boyfriend. I think that we should act, we, meaning me, I think I should act like I love it. Like, can you believe how good this makeup turned out? And see what he says. All right, Jarvis is coming in for the reveal. All right. Are you ready? I need you to give me your your like honest like <laughs> how you think it turned out. Okay. All right. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Dang! <laughs> it came out really good. Isn't it amazing? I did good. I mean, you did all the work, but I did <laughs> good. Oh man. Well, actually. Wow. The like. The shimmer, is that highlighter? The, like that's on, on my your, cheeks? Or is that blush? Um, both. Dang. It's popping. Yeah. Yeah. I like so the eye color it? too. Yeah. Yeah. It did so good. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a tragedy, Jarvis. No. What happened? <laughs> Everything. Jarvis, my makeup looks so bad. It looks bad? <laughs> you actually think it looks good? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, okay, well, come here. I'll go, well, look at look at my bronzer first of all. My blush. Is it too dark? My blush. Well, it just completely removed the foundation underneath. <laughs> my blush ended up being this bright pink glitter. I don't know if you can see all that glitter. Oh, right now there. I see it. Yeah. Whoa. Not cute. Um, <laughs> you should have seen my under eyes. Jarvis. I thought you were being honest. No, I literally oh was like, all right, God. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna like act. I'm so. I'm you. You tricked me. <laughs> you did good. I the, I thought I did. It good, was going right? no no no. Okay, listen. It was going great until I applied concealer, and my skin is super dry from being sunburned. Well, so. that's why I got you the hydrating Laura yeah, Mercier yes, primer. Yeah. Yes, but. On. The concealer on my under area was not, that was not it. And then I fixed it. And then we did the bronzer after I powdered my face. And this, like, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> That's true. This Barry is like Moore. some pro makeup <laughs> well, stuff right there. So, but. like, it just wiped away the foundation? Yeah. Did so, you put too much? No. No. That's very common with, like, applying creams on top of powders. But... Uh, well, I already committed to powdering my face and it was already going rough, so I was like, you know what, we'll see, we'll I find out. I told you I could. I could no, uh, he tried to cheat. He tried to be like, oh, like, I'll, um, well, I'll just, redo it if I you want me to. I picked this because it was different, but. Yeah, no, and it wasn't, know. I'm not saying it's a bad product, it just <laughs> was bad for this. You just don't know how to use it. I just don't know how to use there, it. The lip yeah. gloss was fantastic. The eyeshadow, love. I mean, I did it like super fast because I'm gonna have to take this off before I finish so, filming. The but... eyeshadow isn't bad, is it? No. Okay. No, I, I like the eyeshadow. Yeah. It's like peachy pink. From like here, it, your blush looks completely different. But then, boom. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like you got like a pixie stick sprayed on your I face. I know. Yeah, it looks like I fell asleep <laughs> on like a pile of glitter. Like, it, yeah, that's not good. Let's so, oh, it's funny space. because that was a pixie product. <laughs> and you said a pixie stick. Wow. 
<laughs> I'm a slapper. So, um, anyway, thank you for your I'll do my um, best. your efforts. I'm glad I could attempt. Uh huh. Want to give me a high five? Boom. Shout out to Poncho for the yeah. How's, Poncho how's did the, the mascara. mascara. It was nice. Good I really job. like you it. Did the yeah. Best <laughs> yeah. It was a little bit hard to use because look at how thick the wand is. It's thick. Uh -huh. It's thicker than the actual. Yeah, but you used that one, right? But yeah, I've used it like once, so right. it was a good little refresher. So thank you. I'm gonna close out my video now, but okay. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> I love you. Love all right guys so that was today's video i don't think he intentionally sabotaged me but that's kind of what ended up happening um again like honestly like from far away when my viewfinder is like this big i don't look bad like my makeup doesn't look bad but when i look in the mirror and I <laughs> there's definitely some things that can be approved upon but this was fun and i would never in my life have ever selected this combination of products so it was fun and um, i'm glad jarvis got to be part of a video because um i know you guys have been missing him <laughs> um so anyway that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm gonna go take my makeup off redo it so i can film a few book videos um but yeah i love you all so so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye